Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation, as always, goes to the elect. All right, in the news, okay, another episode dealing with news and prophecy, going into the things happening worldwide, linking them to what the scripture said would happen, all right, so that you can have comfort knowing and understanding why they're happening and be rooted in the faith okay because we're living in a time where the left hand okay these uh high level demons are working through the powers that be to pull at souls okay and through fear um scare tactics you know propaganda lies witchcraft enchantments before they bring the sword, they want everyone weakened, doubtful, confused, and ultimately um, prepared to accept what they have coming. And we know what they have coming, okay? As uh, we've been prophesying these things for years, okay? <clears throat> so... We're going to go into some news and prophecy things that are happening. As you can see here, this is off a website uh, called tyranny.news. Okay. And as you can see here, the mandates have been delayed. All right. Because of the division and constant. All right. Uh, complaints and resistance that they're getting. Okay. Which means they're going to have to come with what? More propaganda which they already have, they've already started, all right, you all have seen the new, <laughs> the new, new, the new variant that has uh, popped up, you know, right at the time where the names were released for the Epstein trial, all right, as a sister noted, all right, whenever names get released for this whole Epstein ordeal, okay, they throw a bunch of propaganda in the news okay because what's happening is the left hand is being exposed to be the devils that they are now imagine how many people okay um were scared all right who were federal work workers okay would you have particular brothers and sisters who are federal workers imagine how many of them were scared were not still waiting on the lord and went out and just bowed to the agenda out of fear. Well, now that you see that the it's been delayed, not saying that they're not going to continue with their agenda and, you know, they're not going to stop because they're not going to stop. All right. They're going to come with something else. They're going to they're gonna continuously come because th this new variant, let's look that up real quick, is already here. Okay, it's already over here in the States. All right, and the name of it is Omicron, all right? And as a brother showed me something that stands out with this name, which it is a Greek name, you can look that up, is uh, <laughs> Micro. <laughs> Micro is in there. And um, the guy at the head of this all used to... Uh, you know be the president or whatever of microsoft which micro means small soft is software okay and um if you've been paying attention they've been openly telling you what their next move is going to be because that's how the left hand works all right they work in the sense of we told you okay they put it in their cartoons and now they're openly even setting up their own controlled opposition to tell you things that are true okay this is satan on the left hand side way of saying we told you so we're justified you see so that's why you see a lot of people starting to be uh seen on the news as candace owens i believe her name is one of them you know uh making points and when you when you listen to them they make sense kanye west when you listen to them they make sense okay but this is a uh, controlled opposition and this is also Satan's way of uh, telling you, okay, what they're going to do 
and what's next so that they can be justified in their minds high level witchcraft but this uh variant's already over here okay so i'm pretty sure in due time it will become an issue and it will become used as a means all right to bring back more force because we're living in a time of great tyranny remember we are living in babylon the great all right and babel goes back to nimrod okay nimrod which i was just reading up on him real quick just read this real quick because this is babylon the great okay babel goes back to as you read here within a few generations after the flood tyrants began to appear on the earth the first in person of Nimrod, the grandson of Ham. Some commentators suggest that the name Nimrod comes from the Hebrew root revolt or rebellion. And that's what you're witnessing, a rebellion against the Most High and his son and the holy people. Which ultimately, according to prophecy, all right, they're not going to get what they want. All right, but they're going to ultimately attempt and Nimrod attempted to what? Build a one world government. All right. The Lord divided the nations for a reason. Okay. It says, even if not, as we consider his name signifies rebellion. All right. Genesis 10 and 8 tells us that Nimrod was the first person to be a mighty man. Okay. The Hebrew word translated mighty can be translated as tyrant. Okay. And who's that tyrant in this time? Esau Edom in the form of Babylon the Great in this beast system, the NATO and the EU. This is giving them power beyond measure. All right. This is Rome all over again. All right. And Rome were a bunch of damn tyrants. The Greeks were a bunch of damn tyrants. Okay. It says his distinction was that he was the first man after the flood to use aggressive force to control other people. Okay. An implication of this may be that uh, may be that he attempted to put himself above honorable men like Noah. All right. Which you have to understand at the time of the Tower of Babel being built, Noah was still alive. Shem was still alive. Meaning what? There was a remnant of the of the holy seed. All right. Of the sons of God through Noah, through Shem, through our facts at that what they saw. All right, this this damn tower get confounded, but they were also alive while it was being built. Meaning what? There was a, a, a prophets out during the Tower of Babel, which is a very interesting history that I'm looking forward to seeing. Because when you look into the scriptures, it's abridged, and a lot of things you have to put. All right, use the spirit of discernment and put two and two together. But if Noah was alive, and if Shem was alive, okay, at the time. Of the Tower of Babel, that means that there had to be a resistance to what they were doing through the chosen seed, just as you see a resistance through us teaching and preaching against helping to build this tower that is being built. And many of our people are, are doing what? They're helping to build the Tower of Babel through their behavior, because our people are the biggest uh, alphabets, they're the biggest rebel uh, rebellers, okay? They're, they've ultimately taken to this do as thou wilt vibration and they're helping to forward it in the earth so everybody is anti-messiah as they're helping to build this tower little wayne all right the the, the whole hip-hop has been hijacked and it is an, it's ultimately now being used as a tool to usher in demons into your culture so while the tower of babel was being built and i'm not going to go all into that it's one of my favorite subjects all right. Because Nimrod and them, they had their scientists, they had their, you know, witches and warlocks of that time, their ecologists, all, all sorts of evil and wickedness and rebellion against the Heavenly Father. You had Noah and Shem still alive in the uh, pre Sha'ar in our camp. He did a, you know, a timeline. And man, when you when you look at the timeline that he did, looking at, you know, how long these men lived and what was going on while they were living, you'd be surprised. So, yeah, Noah and Shem were still alive and able to bear witness to the judgment that came upon the ante, 
Dulavins. All right, I have no idea what that word means. Let's see if we can look that up. I never heard that word. Ante do ante Dulavins. Yeah, I know anti is against. It's not really coming up. Let me see if we can look here real quick. Okay. Okay, the anti the ante Dulavin period is uh the time period between the chronicle between the fall of man in Genesis, the flood. Okay, around that time. Okay. It says, uh, including the tyrants of those days. Nimrod pushed his ambitions. All right, course and cons consolidation power. Consolidating power, exercising authority over his neighbors and challenging the most high. Now, we see that happening in this time. Through what? This beast system. All right. The people of Nimrod's generation like, likely lived around 400 years. All right. During his long life, assuming that he was not assassinated, he would have continued to extend his power and increase the degree of evil which he practiced. Thus, his ruthlessness became legendary. And right now we live under... Esau Edom, who comes in the spirit of Nimrod, all right, and this daughter of Babylon, Babylon the Great, double rebellion, okay, in the book of Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, he calls uh, one of the nicknames for this Babylon that we're in now is Marathayim, which means double rebellion, so we're witnessing this beast system, okay, start to come with their draconian measures on a whole nother level all right but they're met all right because ultimately the lord is playing chess okay and their attempt all right they're they're, they're met with ultimately opposition in the spirit through the men of the lord being raised up and through now everybody's pretty much on to what they're about okay so we're that remnant at this time all right, the, 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 the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because Abraham is a descendant of Noah through Shem, through our facts at. Okay. Now we're in the spiritual Babylon, the great. Okay, turning from idols, just like our forefather Abraham, and prophesying against this place. And we see this uh, Tower of Babel, this one world order, all right, being attempted in our time. And Lord willing, we live to see the fall of it. And if we don't, some of us, Lord willing, we're raised up with Hamashiach Yahawashai. Okay, uh, when he returns, man, to meet those, all right, particular brothers and sisters who are on the earth still who get beamed up. There's no way to lose if you're of the elect. That's why the best thing to do is to remain faithful. As we were just showing you this. Not this. Hold up. Where were we? Okay. But that's something. <laughs> All right. Can't talk too much on it. But that's something that's very uh, interesting. Because that's what the tyranny is going to lead to. It says Biden suspends and delays the mandate for federal workers as resistance against the mandate strengthens. Okay. So that goes into what? The scripture that says in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Okay. He's being met with opposition, which means what? He's going to have to use more and more witchcraft to justify bringing a sword. All right. That's why they're pitting everybody against one another. That's why they're allowing particular people to have opinions in their media and news. But really, it's going to work against them because, see, this devil thinks that he's the most high God. Okay, that's why he's openly telling you what he's going to do via his cartoons. A lot of you think that when these people slip, these they call them fraudian slips, or I forget the wording of it. While these people, these, these Edomites in the high places are talking on the news, they may slip and say something, and they say it with a straight face. You may be like, are they, did they misspeak? No, they're telling you what they're doing. Okay, and then when it comes to pass, <laughs> they laugh like we told them. That's how the, the 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 left hand operates. I was looking at this documentary before, and this uh, so-called, well, this Amalekite, this 
small hat. He was saying the way that we deal, okay, it's all in the mind, all right? We may have done a crime, but in court, in our mind, we say we didn't do it on Thursday. Now, the crime could have been committed on, t on Tuesday, all right? But as you're in court, you're, you're denying that you did it, but you're, you're denying in your mind that you did it on Thursday, and that justifies you. High-level witchcraft, okay? And we're living in, in, a, in, a, in a true psyop, okay? We're living in a psyop. This is a, this is a practice. They're practicing on the minds of the people. This is why it's important to be rooted in the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, man, because you will break. You will, you will fold to the lies and the propaganda that's in this news. Okay? That's why you got you to, gotta, everything needs to be filtered through the scriptures. Now, this is Job 20 and 22 in the fullness of his sufficiency when he's trying to solidify his NWO. He's going to be in straits. He's going to be in a position of difficulty because now how do we how do we bring all of this to pass with the fact that now everybody's talking about the MOTB? Even regular people who don't believe in the Bible know that that's the MOTB. Right? How are we going to bring that to pass and separate it from what's written in the scriptures? Everything that you're doing now, people are on to it because there is a spirit that has been placed upon man. In particular, the prophets, all right, the sons and daughter of Yahu, the daughters of Yahweh by Shem Shai, in the latter days would, would, would raise up, starting with the men of the Lord who were, you know, ordained to go out and preach. But you, you have even particular sisters receiving visions. That's all prophecy. Okay, on top of the Israelites waking up, now everybody's onto his ass. Odyssey, bit shoot. These various different sites where Edomites who are part of the system leaving the system and saying, hell nah. This is what's going on. We this is this is not right. This is wicked. Okay? Now you have old creepy Joe. Okay, trying to do the bidding of the elites, but then the constitution is in a way. So they have a a, a very, very big task in front of them, and they're going to try to complete it. To get everyone on the planet Earth under their dominion and rule in this fourth industrial revolution, linking man with machine. So in the fullness of his, which that will make him the most high God on the Earth and allow him to be a tyrant on a whole nother level. Give your ass the metaverse. So in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits and every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Now, we always bring this out. Okay, and the sufficiency is when you're about to clap your hands and mock. Right? <laughs> but this word wicked, don't be twisted, don't get it twisted. That's why you have to go into the Hebrew. Okay? And here it is, you have channels like Sonnet or TV. Now they're bringing on people to, to, to try to downplay the hebrew now the scriptures say in the latter days the lord will return unto us a pure language the name of the lord that was given unto adam spoken on at the time of enos all right the name of yahweh that's still in the earth meaning the, the 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 true hebrew language was preserved it was never taken out of the earth see but you're gonna have a lot of people standing up in these latter days to attack the faith of the israelites Stay rooted, all right, to you particular brothers and sisters out there who are, who are serious about this work. Stay rooted. Don't allow these, these uh, outer sources, these haters, the incredulity of all of these particular channels who are trying to basically ride the wave of the Israelites to get their, 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 their platforms going. Because everything else is stagnant. The word for wicked is aimal. So we have the true Hebrew. We have the true uh, uh, understanding of the name of the Lord. He said he would give it to us. He said the name of the Lord endureth forever into all generations. Are not we a generation of the Israelites? So the true language, the, 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 the true understanding of his, his name and his son's name is here. For those who have ears to hear and eyes to see. And it's all about faith. 
Okay. I'm all. Laborer. All right. Suffer. A wretched one. Workmen. Suffer. The ones who toil to build this damn system up day in and day out are being treated like the enemies. Right. The workers. So. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits and every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. We're seeing an example of this right here. There's a lot of resistance coming against what they're doing, and, it, and, and it's not justified with the BS that they're putting out there. So what do they do? They're going to come with some more. OK, they're going to come with some more. OK. And now think about all of you people who ultimately went and uh, 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 got the boost mobile phone boosted up. You didn't get you didn't get one taco. So you, you said, give me extra sauce while you were at the window waiting on them uh, uh, salty ass taco. You, you got to get extra sauce. You wouldn't got extra sauce. Now, here it is. This particular uh, uh, strand or variant is supposedly resistant to the sauce that you you got so now what then they're openly telling you the sauce ain't working how they wanted it to work so what do you have here a big ball of confusion and a bunch of damn mess okay let's look up this real quick Omicron definition in Greek. Because now they're on to the fact that we're, 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 we've, we've figured out that all of these, you know, these, v, these variants, most of them have Greek names. Why is that? Because you are living in the Greco-Roman beast system all over again. Okay. And Omicron pretty much means small. It's one of the names. <laughs> says here in this article will likely dominate and overwhelm the world in three to six months doctor says okay so you already see what's coming okay they're not gonna stop okay it says frankly um omicron okay micro micron oh micro Omicron <laughs> will dominate and overwhelm the whole world in three to six months. So things are going to get crazy. All right. Because the uh, juiced are, are ticking time bombs. So we're going to start to see a lot happen. People closer to us, you know, workers, all of that. Okay. The, it's <laughs> it's going to get real. Okay, going to be more toxic things put in the food. Okay, so we need Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. We're going to see a lot of the games that you Israelites are playing. You're going to start to see a lot of you start to uh, be like, wait a minute, watch. And don't come running over here. Man, I've been listening all the way. Nah, just go do the work, man. Go do, go do your own thing. All right. <laughs> Frankly, Omicron will dominate and overwhelm the whole world in three to six months. Singapore doctor Leong Ho Nam <laughs> Ho told CB CNBC's Street Signs Asia, yada, yada, yada. And we know that it's all, you know, propaganda, but hey, things are going to be happening on the earth in the next three to six months that are very, very important to prophecy. Okay, a lot of people gonna be offed. You're gonna see new uh, juice targeting Omicron are a nice idea, but won't be practical because of the transmission of the strain. Okay, so here it is. Now there's a new strain that the juice can't really stand up to so i wonder what will be the next thing that they come with it could be hidden in the name hmm 
Anyway, it says experts don't know exactly how contagious. And this is really them telling you what's coming. Okay? They're telling you what's going to happen. They're telling you what they're getting ready to do. As this is a left-hand priesthood. Now, you may see his face, but they're in cahoots with Esau Edom, man. Experts don't know exactly how contagious the highly mutated variant is, but the virus spike protein, which binds to human cells, has mutations associated with higher transmission and decreased the antibody protection. And so much you want to say, right? but, uh, you know, when you read this article, they're laying it out. Okay. And they're saying the existing uh, juices you got or sauce, the existing taco sauces you, you got will provide some protection. Right? But at the same time, they're saying, Mando, you got to. But anyway, you can read this article. Emergence of the Omicron uh, is already everywhere. First, it started in Africa, which that's a play on the mind. We know that. South Africa. Okay? Which, you go, you jakes, you're going to have you people looking at you crazy. Watch. A lot of this is going to get tense because things get kind of loosened up, you know, but things are going to get more tense. And the people who are, you know, wondering after the beast, they're, you know, they're going to be all uptight, losing their damn mind. OK, you, they, you and Whole Foods or wherever you go shopping, walking around, they, they go turn away from you, looking at you. Where's your where's your face covering? All of that stuff is coming back, but on a heightened level. OK. So just when you thought everything was good and just when this Epstein case got juicy, which we know ain't going to be no justice coming from this. Here comes your boy. And it's all and who's the main ones pushing this? the beast system. As a matter of fact, let's get the book of Revelation, the uh, 17th chapter and the third verse. I start at one. The doom of Babylon, right? Which when do you go to the Christian church and they're cursing out Babylon? They always talk about heaven, which they don't understand that. And then, but, but, but they don't talk about what has to happen in order for heaven to come. Which heaven will be on earth. Heaven will be a government, all right, set up on earth under the Most High through his son, Yahawashai. In the tabernacle of David, with King David being the first king of that tabernacle. Him and the rest of the 12 and then the rest of the 144. Okay, that's the governing body. And then you have the large multitude. So, yes, we're here to prophesy of a righteous government, which is the kingdom of heaven. That's why the Lord told his followers, the kingdom of heaven is in you. Okay. So you sisters who, who have men of the Lord. You may see, you know, their, their draws. You see their ass crack when they get out the bed. You see them coughing. You see them blow their stomach, bloated. You see them sick. But hey, that that could particularly that can be one of the the the, the, the spirits chosen from the foundation of the earth. One of the one forty four raised up in this time and in flesh to preach the downfall of Babylon. So be careful. All right, and for the brothers in the camp, the, the men around you, we can be particular of these men doing the same thing Noah Shem and them did all right at the time of the the building of that tower of Babel man in the in the new Babylon with the new tyrant named Esau who wants his birthright back <laughs> and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vows and talked with me saying come unto me saying unto me, come hither, and I will show thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. And this is not the Roman Catholic Church, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. And that's Babylon the Great. Babylon is the one that goes throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, weakening these nations. All right, and then the beast system uh, shows up 
okay, to set up their different, uh, uh, Halliburton. America is the hammer, all right? And then the elite ultimately set up shop and take over these various different places, man. Spreading what? Fornication. That's why the scriptures say he transgressed by wine. Okay? So the kings of the earth have committed fornication. What? Because Esau has went through the four corners of the earth and poisoned everybody. Bought everybody out. Okay? So now his will is being done in all of these various different nations. And if you stand up and say, well, we're not going to do this, we're not going to do that. Look what happened to the president of Haiti. Okay, you 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 disappear and they set up a puppet leader. And they've been doing it for for years, man. It says, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. When you look at Jake, all right, the nigga woman walking around with a with a with a mo with a red mohawk. Okay. With 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 a uh, cumbrella them them big. All right, eight inch eyelashes. When you see the men walking around with pumps on, all right, acting more feminine than women, okay? When you see women saying they can be men, that is what they were made drunk with the wine of her fornication, which is her philosophies, man. Which all, it's all based upon the rebellion against Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which Nimrod tried to do, Okay? That's why the scriptures say wide is the gate that leadeth to dest destruction. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and I saw a woman, which that woman is Babylon the Great, sit upon a scarlet colored beast. Now scarlet is a derivative of red. Okay, this is Esau Edom. Okay. The beast system, which is a fulfillment of the ancient Roman Empire. Okay, and the vassals the vassal states that made it a beast system. Okay, and Revelation 12 is known as a red dragon. Okay, that fourth beast, which would eventually be revamped in the earth through America, NATO, and the EU. So a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns. Seven heads, uh, the Greeks, the Romans, uh, Germania Manor, Major, Germania Minor, which they were, man, I, I was doing some research on Germania Major and Germania Minor. They, the human sacrifice was their religion. Okay? The French, the Spanish, and the British. Okay? And out of the British came America. Then you have the Ten Horns, which are the vassal states, which a vassal is a lesser power that has aligned and given their power to the major power, which was Rome, which is America, to form what is known as the EU or the beast system. And when you look at what's happening in the planet Earth, it is this beast system, okay, that is at the forefront of bringing the force, okay? Look at the title of this video, EU Chief. It is time to think about mandatory see at the same time they're telling you ah, it don't really work or you're gonna have to keep doing it they're, they're 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 moving forward with the mandatory which is tyranny okay no matter how foolish it seems no matter how much nothing adds up they are continuing to bring what the the the, the force tyranny See, and people are starting to wake up. Okay, because look, let's look up the term tyranny. <laughs> tyranny. Okay, it says an act or the pattern of harsh, cruel, or unfair control over the other people. Now, let's get a scripture real quick. this is a very cruel man and he's in a rush because we are waking up okay 
Isaiah 32 and 4, the heart of the rash shall understand knowledge and the tongue of the stammerer shall be ready to speak plainly. And that's us. And they're like, oh, damn. Because their whole system is based upon our downfall. So to see us raise up, they're like, oh, no. We got to hurry up and get these things intact. In we got to take away free speech. We got to figure out a way to shut people up. We got to put out as much as confusion as we can as possible. And that's what you see happening. Confusion is everywhere, brothers. All right, and you sisters who listen, it's everywhere. It's a lot of confusion, enchantments, left-hand sacrifices happening right before our eyes, all right? And they bring out more confusion at the time where you, you would think the news would be focused on this Epstein case. Now we got to worry about this new, this army, this is whatever the hell it is, and, and, and now... All sorts of madness is being thrown out there to take the focus off of the fact that they are being exposed to be the devil. And we're not going to get you're not going to get justice. All right. The, 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 through this court system, they aren't going to get their just due. So, yeah, they're going to put it on the news and act like they're doing something. But at the end of the day, the people who are at the forefront of that whole Epstein thing uh, uh, go back to Amalek. And you ain't gonna you ain't gonna corner them and, and put them out there like that. So they they're gonna wiggle away as they always do. But the heavenly Father and the, uh, through Yahweh shiny angels are, are watching, man. Okay, and that's where the true judge and judgment is gonna come. The vow person shall no more be called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful, and that's what's happening. People are waking up. <laughs> like you're the devil man I mean you read the comments on these videos now The average person Even people who aren't in the faith Are knowing that these, these people are lying man The word for churl Kaya la laya Kaya la ya Scoundrel A knave Alright To seize Contain And that's what he's trying to do Okay. To hold in, to restrain. He's trying to uh, 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 con have control over the souls of men. I don't know what this word means, so let's look it up. It's always good to know the meaning of words. Okay. Knave. Dishonest. Unscrupulous man. Villain. Rascal. Okay. Unprincipled. Wretch. Beast. <laughs> See that? Beast. And it all leads back to Esau Edom, man. He's a bad egg. He's a bad he's a he's a he's a he's a son of a bitch, as it says here. Scumbag. So now people are figuring out that the vile person is no more liberal. Because we're the true liberals. Okay? The word liberal, na da yab, inclined, willing, noble, generous. There's no nobility in this damn government, man. In this beast system. They're losing their damn minds. Let's look at some of the things that they're doing. Greece. Imposes a hundred and fourteen dollar monthly fine on unjuiced people over sixty. That is that is wicked, man. That's wicked. See, now what is Greece a part of the B system? Let's look up the B system. Let's look up the EU countries, and you'll notice a, a, a trend. Australia, I mean Austria. Okay, Belgium. Bulgaria, Croatia, Republic of Cyprus, Estonia, Finland, Germany, Greece. Germany and Greece are, are in the news right now. Italy. Okay, they're in the news right now for their, their uh, 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 tyranny. Okay, Spain. Okay, and you see uproars happening in these various different places. Now, when you look at the EU, as you can see here, the... Uh, the map, okay, the EU nation's map, 
it's the same as the ancient Roman Empire map because this is the rebirth of the ancient Roman Empire okay it started out as ten, 10 horns but now there's more because they have the fatness of the earth okay right now it says there's about 28 all right but it started out as 10 because this is the beast system okay Sweden Sweden is a part of the beast system right now what's happening in Sweden hmm <clears throat> NATO countries all right Canada you see a lot of tyranny going on in Canada okay and so forth man UK United States these are the main countries that you see at the forefront of pushing all of this propaganda right why is that because the beast is on the loose <laughs> because it is this beast system all right full of the, the scarlet colored beast which are Edomites okay full of the names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns man and the woman Babylon the Great Revelation 17 and 4 was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of the abominations and filthiness of her fornication right which what does the scripture say about Babylon the Great let's get Jeremiah 51 7 Jeremiah 51 and 7 Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hands that made all the earth drunken the nations have drunken of her wine therefore the nations are mad now what does Habakkuk say he transgressed by wine there's a particular family prophetically who controlled Babylon the great let's get Jeremiah or Psalms 137 real quick because you Edomites you think you're going to get away and you think you 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 for to slip out the back door and o offset prophecy and, and overcome the most high right anyway uh, uh Psalms 137 and 7 remember O Lord the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said race it race it even to the foundation thereof they decimated the temple and helped the Babylonians and then as the Greeks they, they, they polluted the temple, all right? We were saved from them a few times. That's where the story of Hanukkah, which we're currently in, comes from. We were saved from the children of Idumia, showing you the Greeks were Edomites. Okay, then as the Romans, they totally decimated the temple. Now they're trying to decimate the Lord's people who are the spiritual temple, starting with the elect. Okay, the tabernacle of David, which is being built. They're trying to decimate us through chemicals, chemical warfare, psychological warfare, the, the, the sword uh, uh, blaming us enchantments so how are they going to pay O daughter of Babylon who ought to be destroyed happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones right <laughs> so O daughter of Babylon is tied synonymously with the daughter of Edom okay so Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hands that have made all the earth drunken, showing you that this Babylon, the great that <clears throat> Jeremiah is uh, prophesying about is the same one we're reading about in Revelation, the 17th chapter, which is America. And the nations are mad, losing their mind, bugged out, but they're ready for war. War is in the air. Okay, the nations are mad. Babylon has suddenly fallen and destroyed how for her and take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. <laughs> See? When you go to the previous chapter, I believe, give me one second.
believe it's in this uh, previous chapter here. Here we go. Edom is made synonymous with Babylon here as well. Because we know Babylon the Great is going to be a desolation, right? Well, Jeremiah 49 and 17, also Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at the plagues thereof, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah in the neighboring cities thereof. Saith Yahweh, no man shall abide there, neither shall the Son of Man dwell in it. And that 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 judgment is only for Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great is the only country, according to biblical prophecy, that will suffer this. But here is being tied to Edom. Because you Edomites control what we're reading about here. You are the, the, the nation of people that control the woman that was arrayed in purple and scarlet, the rich man, okay, and the beast. This beast system is controlled by you Edomites. This is why you see total tyranny happening throughout the four corners of the earth. And it, it doesn't even make sense. Not adding up. You're like, why, why are they doing all of this? Give me a quick second. <laughs> Just get that out of here. Get out of here. Right? Australia. You got people escaping, all right, <laughs> these uh, camps. Australian police have arrested three people who escaped a C-19 quarantine compound. Now, what is that? Huh? Remember we were called th th the conspiracy theorists for saying these things were coming? Now what, sucker? You sucker. <laughs> you through. Now these things are happening. And what are these Israelite camps doing? Still talking shit, still playing around. Still, you know, the uh, slandering the men of the Lord. That's all right, though. That's all right, man. They call hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, for the naysayers because you have to be there. So people are, are in these places and they're escaping. The officers set up checkpoints and were inspecting cars while in the area attempted to find the people who escaped. But they were caught and taken into custody. <laughs> so <laughs> you, you, the, the, this is what's happening, man. And the, these countries are all a part of the B system where you see these major plays in in, in you know, uh, ma you know, mandates and, and things being for. But here in Babylon, it's kind of like, damn, how do we do it? You know, people are figuring things out. We got to shut the Internet down. We got to do this. We got to do that. OK. So be on the lookout for more propaganda and more things, man. All right. Now, let's see here. We'll get into that. Get into that. Let's see here. So let's look at some of these titles here. <laughs> Ethnic cleansing. Okay. Australian military now forcibly putting things in indigenous people. Okay. See that? And let's not forget the, 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 the vast history, brutal history of these devils, man. Okay? This is the same devil. Okay? These, these are the offspring of Columbus and the gang. Okay? And they're doing the same damn thing, man. Remember smallpox? Okay. And they still celebrate it until this day. Okay. So there you go. 
You see the title of that. People are pissed off, man. Michael Flynn pushing for one world religion. Meanwhile, there is a push in the United States to establish, establish a one world religion. The spirit of Nimrod. In response to all this fallout, all of this hell, they're going to say, we all need to come up and, and come together under this new banner. Right? Order out of chaos. And more chaos is coming. According to Mills, Australian military soldiers are physically holding down aboriginals and then, all right, putting this stuff in them. All right. <laughs> Just going to read the titles, but, um. Health Ranger, which he's pretty dope, you know, the natural news. You gotta go to Britain, Britian, alright, dot TV. You can look look up particular things. The future is filled with looting, rioting, and civil unrest, says Michael Snyder, and that's what's coming. And that's what the Bible talks about. Okay, war, civil unrest, hell, division. Worldwide protest erupts against deadly juice, often people. <laughs> yeah, man. So, here's more. All right, Germany. Announces nationwide lockdown for the unjuiced. Okay. Pushing for mandatory. See that? <laughs> all right. Israel's. All right. C virus czar. We need to consider making these things mandatory. Okay. And this is the pimp of the whore. All right, Israel. Okay. But here we go. You see, this may be the final straw in world's leaders' patience with anti juice. So we already see what's going to be used now. All right. Nothing. Everything else is being figured out now. Boom. And don't get it twisted. A lot of people are getting ready to start dropping. OK. But this is the final straw. So this could be the one all right, where they, they go all the way and bring uh, Karakma. All right. This could be it. Okay, as we, we, we're seeing a lot of things happening that's showing us where we are in prophecy. We're, we're right there. Okay, but it ain't even, you know, many cases of it. And they're already saying this is it. So you already see where they're going to go with it. Okay. This random thing just pops up. All right, but its appearance could become a historical event marking the point in the Pandemic when an inv individual's right over his body was taken away. You see that? <laughs> so, as we always bring out through his policy, okay, and through peace, because that's what they're going to present it as peace and, and solution to end all of the hell that's being caused by this. All right, they're going to they're going to destroy many. And what's to come is actually could be in the name. As there are a lot of left hand enchantments happening, man. So this beast is on the rise, man.
Omicron may push countries to mandate juice. Here we go. Israel prepares for doomsday variant. Doomsday, all of these various different names are being brought up. And the Lord has the spirit on them to, to do this. And he ain't going to stop. He's going to try to heap unto himself all people, man, and all nations. So be prepared to be annoyed. We're living at that time that John the Revelator saw. Okay. John the Revelator saw all of this that we're seeing, that we're witnessing and living through. But somehow he didn't see the MOTB. This beast, this revival of the, the, the ancient Roman Empire, the, that beast is here. And what is its final task, according to John the Revelator? What did he see them do? Okay, Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive, okay, something physical. Okay, because when you go into what he, what he, the word he used, because there are different, there's different words for, for Mark, but when you go into the word he used, or the word used here is karakma, which is an idol, something carved out, something physical is going to be required of you to receive. Okay. The root word of that is what? Karax. Okay, so look for more propaganda, more lies in order for them to get to the point where they're saying this is what we need to do. It's going to take what? A lot of propaganda, man. Okay, like this. They're, 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 they're already dividing people with the, with the, with the juice. 55% of the people are losing sleep over unjuiced. So here it is. They're, they're, they're making it seem as though the unjuiced are causing stress all over the world. People can't sleep because other people aren't juiced. Which is going to do what? Cause the division that we read about. Okay. <laughs> this is that time in, in, in Second Edges where it say friends are going to start to, you know, uh, fight against one another. Okay. So they're weakening all strongholds and then they're going to come with the sword, man. So Matthew 10 and 34. Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. There's no peace coming to this society, man. I am not come to send peace, but a sword. Here it is. Christians are still singing about peace and love. Well, the peace doesn't come until the true Israelites are set up on the earth. That's the only way this earth will ever see peace. Okay? But even then, for a period of a thousand years, woo! <laughs> Judgment, all right? The judgment that's written, Psalms 147. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and men's foes shall be they of his own household. Okay, so things have kind of slacked up, right? But the, the beast, in his uh, subtility, he's getting ready because he started out as a small serpent in a garden. But now he is a seven-headed beast, dragon, <laughs> red dragon with ten horns with control over the earth. So he's getting ready to come with more and more propaganda and it's going to divide people. Okay? But through it all, he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Through all of this, you're going to have to be rooted in the Lord. Now, a brother asked the apostle Tahar, on the outside speaking, he said, uh, I was just finishing it up. He asked, you know, um, you know, the Apostles Life, GMS 34th Street Ministry of uh, this weekend, past weekend. And he said, do we hate the two thirds? Now, hate 
All right, when you look up the word hate, it just means a strong dislike. Now, the scriptures do say, do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. But this is the thing. That doesn't mean you have to come at them with, with you know, like, yeah, we hate the two-thirds. But that doesn't mean we're some of the two-thirds you, you, you work with, some of the two-thirds of your family members. That doesn't mean you go around kicking them in the head, you know, throwing apocryphas at them. Nah, I mean, ultimately, yeah, we hate the two-thirds. But look, we, we still have a duty as servants of Yahweh Bashim Shai. We are to be at peace with all men. And you're still to honor your father and mother, but they're in their simplicity right now for the most part. You got particular brothers uh, do, who do have parents that believe, hey, which all praise to Yahweh Bashim Shai. But yeah, we, we, you know, we hate the two thirds. But that, you know, hate, it just means a strong dislike. You can dislike particular people's behavior, but that doesn't mean you attack them. You know, that doesn't mean you're throwing stuff at them and spitting on them, trying to harm them. All right. We, hey, look, it is what it is. We see wicked people every day. And some of them we have to have relationships with in this system. Hey, how you doing? But you separate from them, you know, when it comes time for this work. OK. But people are going to start to change. People are going to lose their mind. The love of many is going to wax cold. OK. And through this all, as the scriptures say. Isaiah. 33 and six. In wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. See, those that fear the Lord are going to operate and move in a whole nother way and fashion than everybody else. We're going to be rooted through all of this. And the Lord promised if we do our part, he's going to do his part, which means we're going to have to step out on faith because a lot of these Israelite camps ain't preparing you for what, what's getting ready to happen. They're still playing games. Now, now that was the, the the deacon of God. Now we're a woman. Now we we teach to beat your woman. They just not gonna stop. Here it is. Esau's getting more and more wicked. All of these things are happening in the world, but these men are doing everything in their power to come against the men of the Lord. Why? Because they've been exposed. They're off. They ain't prophesying. They may go into some things, you know. But overall, it's of the world, man. It's, it's, it's fading away. So now what are you? You're just attacking the men of the Lord. Well, that's all right. Because all of those people on your comment boards bigging you up and who are, who are just here for a show, what are they going to do when they're faced with reality? <laughs> You'll be telling the Most High, I don't worship your son in that day. You'll be calling Yahweh an idol in that day. And there is no way to fear the Lord without uh, uh, reverencing his son. So wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. It's all going to be based upon being rooted. Because let's get this in the book of... Uh, I'll go into the war portion of it because I had some other stuff too. But I'm going to end this one off. The point was made. But let me get something here in Wisdom of Solomon. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wisdom of Solomon in the, uh, I believe, the fourth chapter. One second. Got all these damn uh, tabs open, so that may be contributing to the slowness, but it's just ended off here. Spirit's telling me. All right, this is the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon. 
4 and 3. But the multiplying brood of the ungodly shall not thrive, nor take deep rooting from bast bastard uh, slips, nor lay any fast foundation. For though they flourish, flourish and blanch it, for though they flourish in branches for a time, yet standing not last, they should be shaken with the wind. And what is the wind? They, the, the prophecies coming to pass. The, the, the hell, the destruction. And through the force of the winds, they shall be rooted out. The imperfect branches shall be broken off. Their root, their fruit unprofitable, not ripe to eat, yea, meat for nothing. All right. So the imperfect branches... You're going to be broken off. Your fruit is unprofitable because you have too many Israelites that are not here and they don't fear the Lord. They're just putting and saying anything on comment boards. OK, you got a lot of left hand agent activity. OK, there's a lot of that going on and all of them are either trying to set up the men of the Lord or attacking the men of the Lord. OK, you don't see no real push against what Esau is doing. And freestyling about Esau ain't uh, bringing it out on him. You're supposed to be prophesying. You're supposed to be going into the things that are happening right now. To hell with doing a rap on it. Okay? You're supposed to be standing on your two, all right, uh, 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 going into what's happening in this world and showing the people this is why. Which does what? It gives all credit to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Because these words in this book are faithful and true. All right? So I was going to get into... Uh, war but i'll come right back lord willing and i'll just do another video on that hopefully i'll edify it on to the next shalom